Hi guys, it's Marlena. Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we built a $20,000 modern house in Bloxburg and I went broke, but it's okay because we finished the build and it's on budget. So let's get right into building and feel free to build along as always and wait until the end of the video to check out the tour and see how it all turned out for just $20,000. Okay, so this is the layout. This is the second floor and this is the first floor. So we're gonna place the walls. So we're gonna place two right here and we're gonna color these walls dark stone gray with the concrete material. And then we can go ahead and color the interior walls. I think we're gonna use a ghost gray today. So there we go. Once you have those walls placed, we're going to copy those walls and place them just like this. Now we're gonna grab new walls. So we're gonna place three right here and we're gonna color these pine cone with these planks. And then once again, color the interior walls ghost gray and then copy those walls and place them around the remainder of the layout on the first floor. So yeah, we're gonna be using brown and gray for the exterior wall colors and that's it. Okay, so now we can grab this gray wall once again and place it on the walls upstairs, just like this. So this house is going to have two bedrooms and two bathrooms. So yeah, pretty cool. As well as the kitchen and the dining room and the living room, of course. So we can place the interior walls once again, make sure they're colored ghost gray or whatever color you'd like to use if you don't want to use this. So that's going to be one bedroom and a bathroom, and this will be another bedroom. And then downstairs, this is going to be the kitchen and the dining area, another bathroom, the stairs, and then the living room. So that's it for the walls. All done. So now we can start placing the roof. So we're going to grab the gable roof to begin, and we're going to place it straight back just like that. So this is going to be the main entrance where the door is, so we can just raise this roof up a bit. Um, if you do that, it actually is cheaper for some reason, so <laughs> yeah, and then we're just gonna color it white and then make sure you match that wall color to this wall color So looks like that and then I think I'm just going to color the roof concrete with white So now you can copy that gable roof and we can just place it upstairs all around this roof just like this So it should look like that and then we could just raise it up a bit make it a little bit cheaper save some money Yeah, so there we go <laughs> Okay so now we can go downstairs and grab the slanted roof and this will be used for the remainder of the roof <laughs> that is empty. So place it there and then raise it up a bit. There is good. And then just color it the same as you've colored the rest of the roof and then copy that over and place it on this side. And then we will be good with the roof. And yeah, so place it like this. And there we go. Okay, so next we can go and place the windows. So we're gonna be using these factory windows. So place one right here. Then we're gonna color it black with a seashell hue. And now you can just place two next to it and then do the same exact thing over here. Three right there. And then you can copy this window and bring it upstairs. Place one over here and then one right over there. So like that, and then do the same exact thing on this side, except I think I'm just gonna place two of them together like this. I know there's a weird space there, but there's a wall preventing me from placing a window there, so yeah. Okay, now we can grab the pillars. So we're going to use this plain pillar and place it in each corner, and we're going to color it white with this solid material. So just place that around in each corner. We can just do the exterior walls for now, and then we'll do the rest later once we get inside. So now we're going to grab the door, and we're going to use this modern reveal door. We're going to color it white, and then we're going to color it black, and that's it okay so now we can grab wall trim so we're going to use this flat crown molding and we're going to place it around the entire build just like this okay very easy and now we can just place like the walkway and the driveway so i was thinking of making an outdoor driveway i hope you're okay with that so i was thinking of placing it like right here in front of this and now we can just grab like a fence if you want to outline everything and then outline this so you can kind of like separate the walkway from the driveway and now if you'd like to we can just place a tree so it's not like too empty over here so i'll use this rough cypress and i do want to place another spiral tree hedge thing so i want to place this guy right in front of this tree and then maybe some grass and then we're good because yeah we're on budget and we're already down a few <laughs> thousand so and i really badly want to use my flower bushes so <laughs> i have to do it okay so that's it i am just gonna quickly grab i think a light to place like right up here and that's it i do want to grab a structural item real quick this beam and then i'm gonna place it right here going down and i'll recolor it white and then i'll place another 
like this so i'm making just like a little design and then i'll just do it like this on this side underneath the lamp so that's it okay now we can go work on the interior so let's go <laughs> wait i sounded like mario there <laughs> i've been playing too many video games i'm sorry so i'm just gonna copy the pillars and then just place them in each corner so okay we'll do that and now we can place the floor so i do want to use like the brown that we were using on the exterior walls so pine cone and then i want to use these tiles i love these tiles so now we can go upstairs and place them in the rooms and make sure you color the ceiling so i think were we using white and concrete i think we were yeah we were okay i had a check i forgot okay so now you can just copy that floor place it all along where it needs to be and there we go so this is going to be where like the stairs are so let's go place the stairs oh my gosh the money i'm kind of nervous we're gonna grab these stairs right here and place them right there and then just color it pine cone and white and you're good we can do this i have faith in us this is the living room let's start off with that so we're gonna place a carpet right here this is going to be the bathroom so i'm going to place a door we're going to use a plain door so we save money so we're going to place a chair over here we're going to use the cheapest one so let's use this <laughs> very affordable so we're going to color the couch cloudy gray with white and then we can just recolor the carpet or just give it a new design i guess we'll just place like a table here maybe for like the tv so we can use this industrial console table and place it right here and then just recolor this i guess we'll just use brown and then we can grab a tv so let's use the cheapest one <laughs> right here nice and then we can just add some plants around so it's not as empty i mean obviously we can't add like anything too crazy or else we'll actually run out so we can add what we can <laughs> i'm just gonna place like two windows right here and that's it i think we also need some light a candle because they look super nice and they light up a ton of space i think i'll color it light stone gray now i think i'm just gonna place a bookshelf in this corner i don't know kind of risky but we don't really have much else to choose from so i'll just place a few like papers and then maybe a book and that's literally all we're doing because i'm afraid i'm gonna run out so pretty empty bookshelf but whatever so now let's work on the dining area which is right here so i'm gonna have to use this really cheap simplicity city table kind of bad but we're gonna color it again and yeah so now we're gonna give it a chair we'll use these log stools we're using our brown again because we'll use our white and i'm probably gonna steal this candle i think i'm actually gonna recolor the table to white i think i like that better so we're gonna grab this basic counter and i'm actually gonna place the counter right here and then i'm gonna grab the stove and i'll place it right here and then the fridge can go right there now we can grab a cabinet or a few cabinets <laughs> and we'll just place them where they need to be we don't have to place like too many we can just place that and then like this one and uh do we need another one i guess we will and then we can just grab some appliances like the microwave i think i'll just only add like maybe a coffee maker and then maybe a toaster and that's it because i don't really want to overdo it i feel like those are common appliances you'll see in a house yeah i think that's good i don't think i'm gonna bother recoloring this at all like it kind of matches just leave it the way it is <laughs> oh gosh so i just placed like two windows right there that's it very very easy i'm gonna place a plant in this empty area because i think i'm gonna place a bookshelf next to the fridge <laughs> to cover this up oh my gosh don't know how i feel about it it's really empty I think we need another plant so here's a tree i don't know how i feel about this i don't think i like it very much but we're gonna have to just deal with it because there's really not much else we can do okay let's go to the bathroom real quick we're gonna place i guess the toilet there and then we're gonna grab a bathtub place it right here okay we're doing it we're doing it then we're gonna grab a sink and i guess the sink could go um i guess it could go right there i mean i don't know <laughs> this kind of makes no sense wait okay i guess that's fine and then i'll just recolor the sink just that part and then i'm gonna grab another window and i'll place it right here one over the tub and we're gonna need to grab this candle but i think we're gonna recolor it i think we'll use linen and i guess we'll get a soap bottle and then a towel so there's more detail <laughs> okay five thousand dollars left we have three rooms to go do you guys think we can do it yes or no comment down below <laughs> i'm scared okay toilet paper i'm gonna grab a plant again and just there you go there's the bathroom it's mm, mm. it's uh kind of empty but we did it so we're gonna grab this door and we're gonna go upstairs now we are going to place one right here 
and then one right here oh i forgot about the pillars oh no we're gonna have to place the rest of the pillars upstairs oh gosh please don't be expensive oh my gosh look at the money going down stop going down okay three thousand dollars left can we do it i'm scared okay we're gonna work on this room this is the bedroom so we're going to grab this bed and place it there we gotta be really careful so we're gonna just color this white and leave it the way it is i'm gonna grab a lamp and i'm gonna place it right here we're gonna grab this very very cheap lamp and we're not even gonna bother coloring it because it looks nice and then we're just gonna place a window and we're gonna place a dresser over here so uh let's use this dresser oh my gosh we're not gonna color it it's fine it's okay two windows right there oh i don't like that room at all let's go into this bathroom real quick so this is gonna be probably the most expensive room that we have left we gotta be careful we're gonna copy the sink from down here and we're gonna place it up here save money that way although it's 500 dollars. oh my gosh what the heck okay we're gonna place the sink right there and we need a shower Hour, which i think will go i think i'll place a shower here i have to place i think the toilet there and then i'll get like some toilet paper once again and that's it okay there's our final bathroom okay we're doing it okay wait i forgot we need the door to this room wait i forgot we need the door to this room so grab a door frame and place it right here we're gonna grab a bed we got this we're gonna use the log bed right here <gasps> 900 oh my gosh okay we're gonna color this we're gonna be very careful we'll use a cloudy gray and white we're gonna grab a dresser over here we'll use this modern dresser we're not gonna color it it's okay and then we're gonna grab a window can we place two we can place two we can place a lamp wait we got this we can place one more window like right here oh my gosh we did it wait i think we can afford a fence over here so nobody falls down oh my gosh we did it look i'm gonna place i think a stack of paper right here because <laughs> it's so empty we did it oh my god wow okay i wasn't expecting to pull that off oh wait gotta get rid of that we have to move these windows over because that pillar is there and then i just deleted this pillar right here because that was kind of in the way and i didn't like the way it looked now we have a few more dollars um that's not really gonna make a difference though uh we could place a box in this corner though with that so it's not like super empty i guess oh my gosh it's so stupid <laughs> But you know what? It kind of helps, so we're gonna do it. Okay, so yeah, we did it, guys, with $18 to spare. <laughs> yeah, here it is. Okay, gosh. So we're gonna go tour it and check it out. Okay, so here's our house, and as you can see, the total value is $20,000, so we did it. We're on budget. Let's go. Yeah, so this is it. Wow, I was kind of scared for a second that we weren't going to finish it on budget, so I got a little freaked out and panicked, but we're okay. We did it and i think it looks pretty nice at least i like the exterior a lot so yeah i think the exterior is pretty nice yeah i'm just happy we pulled it off so yeah and here's the outdoor garage area so let's go inside and check it out yeah if it wasn't a budget home obviously we'd be able to add a lot more like plants and other decorations and stuff so yeah it might feel a bit empty which <laughs> kind of bothers me but obviously it's going to because it's a budget home you know you know you can't spend your life savings so yeah that's it this is like a very simple kitchen and dining area but it works so here are the stairs and oh my gosh ignore that roof Bloxburg needs to add a way to fix those weird roof glitches so here's the first bedroom <laughs> it's really simple but this is a house that you can use as like a starter home if you're like just trying to save money and while you work um so that you can save up for a bigger home you know something like that something simple and cheap that you can use to boost your moods while you work get more money even have a role play in here or if you just don't have enough money to build a home and you just need something to live in so yeah this is a house for that purpose yeah i hope you guys enjoy this build and if you want to see other builds with more detail and <laughs> decorations in them i have hundreds on my channel i have a lot of budget homes like this and then i have a bit more detailed pricey builds i have a lot of options so thank you guys so much for watching let me know how you think i did with this build for just twenty thousand dollars so i will see you in my next video. Bye guys!